Welcome to Study Zone. Let's learn together. In this video, I am going to share with you some of the important question and answers of Class 8's Biology, Chapter 2, Cell Structure and Function. Answer the following. 1. Define cell. Who discovered cell? Answer. A cell may be defined as the basic structural and functional unit of an organism or life. Robert Hooke in 1665 discovered the cell. 2. Define unicellular and multicellular organisms. Answer. Unicellular organisms. Organisms which are made up of a single cell are called unicellular organisms. 3. Example, Amoeba bacteria. Multicellular organisms. Organisms which are made up of many cells are called multicellular organisms. Example, trees, grass, insect, humans. 3. Define tissue, organ system and organism. Answer. A tissue is a group of similar cells performing a specific function. All the organs that work together to perform a specific life function form an organ system. The various organ systems make up the living organism. Four, cells are the basic structural units of living organisms. Explain. Answer. Cells in the living organisms are the basic structural units. They have different shapes and sizes in the living organisms. In the living world, organisms differ from one another, but all are made up of cells. Cells in the living organisms are the complex living structure. Five. Differentiate between organ and organelle. Answer. Organ. Different tissues join together to form an organ. Example. Stomach, pancreas, liver. Organelle. Organelles are the components of a cell characterized by a specific function. Example, mitochondria vacuole. Six, briefly explain the different shapes of a cell. Answer, cells can be found in various shapes such as spherical. Example, eggs of animals. Spindle shaped. Example, Smooth muscle fiber. Elongated. Example, nerve cells. Oval shaped. Example, red blood cells. Branched. Example, osteocytes. Some cells may not have definite shape. Example, amoeba, white blood cells. Seven. Describe the parts of cell. Answer. The basic components of a cell are cell membrane, cytoplasm and nucleus. 8. Cell membrane or plasma membrane. Every cells are bound by a thin delicate membrane called cell membrane or plasma membrane. The membrane separates cells from one another. And also the cells from the surrounding medium. Function. Plasma membrane is porous and allows the entry and exit of only selected substances. It also prevents the movement of some other substances across it. Thus it is called selectively permeable membrane. It provides an outer boundary to the cell and protect it from injury. Cell 
cytoplasm. It is a thick jelly-like fluid inside the cell membrane. It occupies the space between the cell membrane and the nucleus. There are many small cytoplasmic bodies in the cytoplasm. These are mitochondria, powerhouse of the cell, Golgi bodies, ribosomes, endoplasmic reticulum, plastids. These are called cell organelles. Nucleus. It is the most important component of the living cell. It is generally spherical and is located in the center of the cell. The nucleus consists of the following four parts. A. Nuclear membrane. Nucleus is separated from the cytoplasm by a membrane called nuclear membrane. This membrane is also porous and allows the movement of certain selected materials between the cytoplasm and the inside of the nucleus. Nucleoplasm. A dense fluid in the nucleus is called nucleoplasm. C. Nucleolus. It is a small spherical body present inside the nucleus. It is rich in RNA, ribonucleic acid. Chromosomes. The chromatin material is a thin thread-like structure composed of deoxyribonucleic acid, DNA. This contains genes. Genes are responsible for passing genetic characteristics from the parents to the offsprings. The, the chromatic material changes into thick structures called chromosomes during cell division. Functions of Nucleus The nucleus controls all metabolic activities of the cell. It is responsible for passing genetic characteristics from parents to the offsprings. Eighth question. Differentiate between prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells. Prokaryotic cells the cells which do not have a well-organized nuclear region due to the absence of nuclear membrane are called prokaryotic cells. Example, bacteria, blue-green algae. Eukaryotic cells. The cells which have a well-organized nucleus with nuclear membrane are called eukaryotic cells. Example, all organisms other than bacteria and blue-green algae. Ninth question, compare plant cell and animal cell with the help of diagrams. Parameters, plant cell, animal cell. Plant cells are larger in size. Animal cells are smaller than plant cells. Cell wall is present in plant cell. Cell wall is absent in animal cell. Plastids are present in plant cell. Plastids are absent in animal cell. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and press the bell icon and don't forget to like, share and comment my video. Bye.